Optimizing your workspace is as easy as three steps. Sweep, sort, and standardize. So let's start with sweeping. This really just gets down to literally cleaning your space. The easiest way to do this is when you leave a space. So you want to leave the space in the way you want to come back to it at a future time. This is especially true if you're at work, so you want to keep your workspace nice and tidy and clean because your workspace represents you when you're not around. And if you're at home and you work from home, you want to leave your workspace in a nice, tidy, clean manner. Now, when it comes to sorting, the second step, so sorting, you can get into literally sorting, putting things in different buckets or physical places in your workspace. When it gets to a lot of the more engineering, top level technical content, I really think of having to-do lists, but also having don't to-do list. So you can think of this as a priority list and a posteriority list. So we're talking about things you are not doing and capturing the reasons why you're not doing them. The breadth of my responsibilities in the office is quite huge and I don't have infinite number of hours in the day. So I need to prioritize what I'm going to be spending my time on. And when I do see something pop up, I will capture it on some future to-do list. So it will either be a priority, like I need to do this, this has to happen, or something else will falter, or a posteriority, like, oh, I could do this, but it's out prioritized now, and here's the reason if it's ever questioned down the track. This is very helpful because it helps you track things, and even if you're not super busy at work, you can show that there's actually a lot of things happening quietly in the background. When it comes time for promotions and raises, having these lists and trying to actually capture what sort of business impact and value you're providing is also something that's much easier to do in the moment while you're going through this, rather than having to try to look back over the last year and figure out what the heck have I been doing for the last year. The third step to optimize your workspace is to standardize things. So I work from home half the time, and this is actually my home office behind me, and you can see I have a KVM over here. And this KVM keyboard, and mouse is exactly the same one that I have in the office. So I have the same laptop dock, same KVM, same keyboard and mouse. I've standardized this. So when I'm in the office or when I'm at home, I have this work laptop and it's the same exact setup in both spots. So it's completely standard. This is a very simple example of what I'm trying to get across here. You need to try to standardize things as best you can. So I split my time in the office and at home and having a consistent setup to where it is functionally indistinguishable. Well, ironically, I have faster internet at home, but it's essentially exactly the same if I'm in the office or at home. And this really helps me because I don't have to have any cognitive load to think about, oh, it was just a different mouse. We've got to push a different button to switch input what's going on here. There's none of that. This is a very simple thing you can do to take some of that cognitive load and put it towards something that'll move the needle for you in your organization. What do you think? Do you have any tips or tricks you could share down below? Because I really found that this work from home setup and standardizing things has been much more impactful than I expected. So there you have it. We just went over three easy ways that you can optimize your workflow and work setup. I trust you've been paying attention to this video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay. Click that link below and schedule a call with me today.